Welcome to the death of Bitcoin. Pretty ominous way to start a video. <laughs> it's the death of Bitcoin today, ladies and gentlemen. Um, I don't know about that, not so much, but we definitely uh, took a big hit today, rolling over down about 3.5%. So if we stay down like this by uh, follow three day method, we'll get one distribution day today. So we're not really in completely dead territory, but we mentioned how garbage altcoins have been looking. Um, only really a few long candidates, and they really haven't worked out. We'll see some of those later. We're also going to take a look at our top 50 during these best five minutes of your day today. So, uh, yeah, pretty much rolling over handily from the open right here, dropping all the way down here, pretty close to our, our long-standing trend line on BTC. That's a bit of a problem, but we're still above it. Um, so I'm not a big dip buyer, but if you are a dip buyer, I could see how you could be enticed with buying down here. And there's nothing I can say either way. If you want to buy it, I, I get it. We're also near some support levels. We haven't broken this this low right there for a while, and we're kind of in that area. So if we break the trend line and take out that low, all bets are off at that point. We are done, in my opinion, especially if we get elevated volume. If we get low volume, then we'll be okay. So you can see we can still chop around in this area here for uh, several days before. It depends where we go sideways. If we go sideways down here, we got four or five days. If we go sideways up here, we got a much longer time horizon. So if we go sideways through this, it's not a big problem. The problem is if we go through it quickly and on heavy volume, then it becomes a huge problem, and then the bull trend is done. Uh, we still could pull it out, although... I'm not a big fan of buying dips down here. It's not something not something I like to do. You can see all, all the dips that, that don't work. There's quite a few of them. So, uh, but yeah, definitely took a hit and is a good hit. Volume came in very heavy on the on the two hour time frame compared to a lot of other candles and they were consistent volume aggregation tool here. Show lots of pocket pivots and uh, yeah, that's pr pretty much is what it is right there. Um, other than that, I, I basically kind of just waiting at this point. If you get a nice bounce, that could be shortable. If you are looking to short, a nice bounce could be shortable up here. Actually, I should have done this earlier too, but we could have drawn an opposing trend line right there. That could that could prove to be resistance if we if we bounce up into that. So keep that in mind as well. Um, other than that, most of the coins are a little bit extended, a little bit too extended to consider short entries. There's some that are, that are holding up uh, pretty good though that could be shortable. Um, so one that we've been watching recently quite a bit is BNB, which has come all the way back down for a full round trip to the 606.40. Uh, that was a couple alert levels ago. So that's not a good sign for what was a leading token. Now is given into the pressures of the market uh, yesterday with a very large signal here. Not quite a pocket pivot, but up here fighting with these candles in a, in a full bodied, essentially full bodied candles. A little bit of wick to the downside, but not really much to uh, do it any favors and then just ad additional rolling over here today so we'll see if we can hold the low here prior to 606 and also this trend line otherwise um, otherwise we could handily roll over all right get on to our hot coins of the day hot coin file coin file coin uh down we had this one up here and it rolled over giving us a bunch of wicks especially right now that all those days have closed and we're rolling over messing with some of these lows this could be actually not a bad short candidate i didn't see this one earlier but that could be a good short candidate right there on a trend line break we are getting some support at the moment if that gives way your stops could be up here uh 571 or you can go go up here above that if you want more to 582. i think those could be some some good opportunities but right now we are getting some support so a, a more clear break of this I think could, could be shortable. That's not a bad one, actually. And then injective. Uh, so this is in the top 50, and this is not looking super aggressive to the downside. We do have a couple of big red candles right there. So if this is something you want to short, which just looks actually relatively strong compared to most other coins, you do have a 13% stop loss right there. So that's a little tough to take on at the moment. You'd probably look for a trend line breakout then right there. And if it breaks down, hopefully you have something closer than 13% to uh, derive a stop from. But right now, actually holding up relatively well compared to most other coins in the market. Uh, injective is, is odd that it's dropped the most in the top 50. Filecoin was, was first, then Injective, and then BNB. So I, I happen to get all three of the ones in the top 50 here. 
So interesting. So not a huge drop. You, you can see we're not completely dead, uh, but definitely a chink in the armor. Another one talked about metal bending, chinks in armors, whatever analogy you want to use. Um, you're not necessarily excited about buying these down here at this moment. So Marcus in a little bit of a position where it's definitely turned weak. Uh, it's no longer strong. And it can come back strong, and then it will be strong again. But it hasn't didn't do it up here. Why would it do it? Why would it do it over here? Maybe it's just going to eat up a bunch of coins and go. I guess that's possible. If that happens, um, then we'll have a different take on tomorrow. But right now, market's looking weak. Um, a few shortable opportunities, but not really too many. I think the market may just chop for a while at this point. So not a lot of opportunities, except for small ball trading, probably intraday trading. Um, in terms of larger breaks, you're gonna one coin's gonna start it, and then maybe they'll all go. So you're gonna have, you're gonna have to keep your eyes out if you want to make big trades to the downside. Uh, but they're not guaranteed from this level either. But uh, yeah, tricky right now. It's tricky right now. So if you're confused, if you don't know what to do, don't do anything. You don't have to take risk on. You don't want a, a string of losses to dwindle your account. So just make sure you're doing the wise thing for your style. All right, ladies and gentlemen. That's the best five minutes of your day, and I'll see you tomorrow on Altcoin Best Trading.